Hi hey guys, um, we're gonna do another video of, um, about uh, replacing the screen in uh, this time in an ASUS laptop. Uh, it is an ASUS uh, model number F510U. Um, it's a very simple, um, it's a vivo book. A very simple uh, procedure to do, that's the reason I'm making this video. Uh, shouldn't take you uh, more than 20 minutes uh, to make. Uh, nothing really technical involved into this repair. Um, even the screen, uh, you're able to order it uh, based on the model number of the laptop rather than on the serial number of the screen, which uh, most of the time is the case. Um, so basically you'll have to open the laptop first and you'll have to uh, take the model number of the, um, of the LCD and then place the order to make sure uh, the, the screen is compatible. For this particular uh, laptop there is only one screen available and uh, you can just google uh, the model number of your laptop or the screen. The uh, screen is relatively cheap, it's around uh, $80. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into it. Uh, let me show you how the computer looks before so that's a that's a crack screen and by the way um, well probably you know it uh, but many times I'm having people uh, telling me that uh, they have a bunch of lines uh, on their screen but their screen is not cracked and then uh, I'm quoting them uh, for uh, for labor for a crack screen replacement and they tell me well my screen is not cracked because the screen looks absolutely fine you don't see any kind of uh, crack on it well the thing is it's in uh, one of the layers uh, where the, the crack is you're not really gonna feel the crack you're not gonna see uh, shatters you're not gonna see pieces shards coming out of uh, that particular screen. Now with that said, let me just uh, show you the ultra specialized uh, tools I'm going to use for this repair. Uh, and in like uh, most of the screen replacements, you will need Phillips, a uh, uh, fine, um, fine tip uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver, pry tool, and a tweezers. That's all you need. Now let's dig into it. Uh, let me show you how to do it. And uh, let's see, okay, so uh, on this side of the screen, on both sides actually, on the right and the left side right here, uh, there are two little uh, tabs, okay, you can see it here, uh, you'll have to use a tweezer or something sharp to go underneath and remove this little sticker, okay, put it on the side with the sticky part up. Uh, remove the left and the right. Now underneath you have um, two screws. Okay, that's where the screwdriver gets in handy. That's your regular Phillips screw. One there and one here. Okay, now with those removed, by the way, make sure your uh, computer is completely turned off. I uh, forgot to mention it now because I mention it in every every other uh, video I'm making about the screen replacement. Make sure the computer is off. Uh, this one, uh, you can't really remove the battery. It's a non-removable battery. So, uh, as you see, when you're, when you're pressing the keyboard, if the, screen will be, if the computer will be sleeping, uh, the screen should uh, pop up. If your screen is so damaged that you don't trust that the backlight is actually working, make sure you press on the power button uh, uh, for around 7 to 10 seconds to make sure the computer is off. Okay, now uh, we're gonna use the pry tool and you see this uh, little edge, you have the, the top uh, screen is blue and the front bezel is black. So you wanna put the pry tool right in between and work your way down just like this, okay. Uh, take your time, don't uh, don't rush because this particular model is not the most uh, expensive one and the plastic they're using it's a little bit flimsy I would say. So uh, you're not gonna break the you're not gonna break the bezel, but uh, you might break the legs which are holding the bezel together, making it pretty much useless. Okay, so slowly work your way down with a pry tool you can use a plastic or a metal or even a guitar pick if you have one at hand okay a card might work as well uh, i didn't try it with a card in a long time but uh, yeah i know 
that might work. Okay. Okay, so we got the sides. The bottom one, you can basically just pull it apart. And we'll have to release it from here. Okay, we'll put the pry tool right here. up okay I'm just gonna pull it just like this okay we have to help it release a little bit more from the bottom okay and there you go you have the front bezel it is moving now there is a little trick involved in this screen, so I'm going to show you the easy solution. I'm going to show you in a second. Now you see here, this is your bezel. The bezel is tucked under this, okay, this piece right here. In order to pull it out, here. In order to pull it out, push the screen all the way back, use, uh, use something metallic or something a little bit hard, pull onto the this uh, protective cover, pull up, pull towards you actually, and then lift the bezel just like so. Okay, and you'll do the same into this side, so pull, pull it towards you, and lift on the bezel itself. There is a little bit of a glue which is holding the bezel together. Okay, perfect. And there you go, you, you removed the bezel. Otherwise, why is this the easy way? Because otherwise I will have to actually open the back case and I'll have to remove the, the screen, the hinges I'll have to remove and then I will have to actually physically remove this protective uh, thing. Uh, is not the case right now. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move forward. There are four screws, like in most of the computers. One, two, three, four screws, which are holding the screen together. We're gonna start with the top. You can start to the bottom if you wish. Okay. Four. Okay, now the screen, we can just pull on it, okay, and lay it flat on the keyboard. Here, uh, where the connection is, there is, see that's the connector, and you have this uh, tape which you'll have to loosen up. Okay, now this is actually rather easy compared to other computers. And we're gonna push on the connector, just like this. Okay, the connector is out. We take the old screen off. And now we're gonna take our new screen. And now it's a good time to actually test the screen before we go ahead and reassemble it. So what we're gonna do, we're just going to put back on the connection. Okay, so what we do, we push this. Okay, we lay the screen flat and we're gonna push this connector just like this. I know how much you can see because my fingers are all over the place. Here we go, just like that, and then we're gonna push with a tweezer, okay, pull towards you actually, like this, and then we're gonna lock it with the tape. So the connector is set, and now we're going to put the screen up and fire up the computer. 
Let's see how it looks. Okay, ASUS. Beautiful, preparing automatic repair. Excellent. Okay, now as you see, it's a fully compatible screen. It is the matte type. Okay, once we remove this foil. Okay. Yeah, never mind that. That's because we turned on and off the computer a couple of times without properly shutting it down. So we're gonna shut off the computer. Okay, we're gonna put back the screws. Okay. That's that. Now, remember I mentioned there are some, there is a little bit of a tape, sticky tape, right there on the corner, uh, which was holding the the bezel. So we're gonna remove that, okay, it's right here. One on one side and one on the other side. It's pretty useless, that does not hold anything and besides, we have the screws which is holding the front bezel in place. So we're not gonna worry that much about, uh, about that tape. And now we're gonna take our front bezel. And you see, this will have to go under. Okay, we're gonna go right under the, this piece right here. So let me show you. Let me see how I can find an angle which will work for you guys. Let's see, let's try, let's try this. Let's see how that looks. Not sure that that will work, but we're, all we can do is try. Okay. So, we wanna pull on this. and then push the bezel down, so. Okay, one side it's aligned with the screw hole. And now we're gonna do it here. Okay, that's all it is to it. I mean, uh, it might be a little bit harder for you guys at home, I don't know, or maybe I just got, uh, I just got lucky. Uh, that this actually worked pretty neat for me and now okay just have to click it in place okay it has to actually here that snaps that tells me that the plastic clips are engaging Please don't put any pressure on the LCD itself. Work your way under the LCD if you wanna push on something. Now something is holding up, holding in here. Okay, nothing there, so, okay. And now we're gonna snap back in this protective uh, shield. Okay, that one might be a little bit trickier because something always have to be now before we worry about that let's put back the screws so screw number one right in here we want to make sure that the front bezel stay uh, stay in place and we're gonna put the one on the right we take our little sticky pads and there you go one on one side one on the other side. Okay. And now, okay. This thing we're gonna just, you see, you push it like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. 
and let's see how it looks on the other side. I still feel it loose. And I feel it loose because it is loose. We're gonna push it with, let's see. Make sure it is flat in here. Okay, I mean flat. It's uh, flush. I'm sorry, it's just been a very long day. And in the front, as you see, it's perfectly fine. And that's uh, that was your uh, repair. Just to show you guys uh, again the computer, we're gonna turn it on. Asus screen, it's absolutely fine. So with that said, uh, this repair should not take that much uh, that much time. Uh, it's something uh, something pretty easy to make, um, and it's gonna save you uh, it's gonna save you money uh, into the repair. Plus, it's gonna save you time. Uh, you have the option to choose the screen yourself and uh, go with an original one, uh, rather than I mean. Many people they're using uh, third-party manufacturers. Nothing wrong with that as long as they have the same resolution. So it should be fine. Uh, anyways, uh, to make long story short and to get a chance to actually go home, um, that was it for today. I hope uh, this video helped you in some way. Uh, if it did, as always, uh, like the video, uh, leave a comment if you wish, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Until uh, next time. Uh, I'll see you. Take care.